hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to draft the basic bodice block first these are the measurements you'll be needing take a rope tie it around your waist and take your measuring tape and measure your bust circumference so making sure that the tape is nicely placed across your back measure around your bust and then measure also around your waist mark those measurements down or write them down on a piece of paper then you're going to place your tape at your shoe at the highest point of your shoulder which is close to your neck and measure from there to your waistline this will become our full length measurement then you want to take your tape and place it at your collarbone line and then measure from there to your waist also this will be our center front measurement on your back, use take filling the top of your um, collarbone line at the back of your neck. Place your tape at that collarbone line and then measure from there to your waistline. This will become your center back line. Also at the highest point of your shoulder, measure from there to your waist and it will become your full length for your back measurement. Also at your front, measure from the highest point of your shoulder to your apex point and also measure your apex to your apex point. Then also placing your tape at one armhole to the other, measure around your chest or measure your top chest. Then placing your tape on one shoulder bone to the other, measure your shoulder length. Then we're going to take our across back measurement. Now to get this measurement accurate, you need someone to help you take around, um, take across your back measurement. Now placing our measuring tape at the shoulder bone line, we're going to measure across to our center back line. This will become our shoulder slope measurement. And we're going to repeat the same thing for the front. So you're taking the shoulder slope measurements at the back and in the front. So your tape is at your shoulder tip bone and measure to your center front. And this will become our shoulder slope at the center front. Also measure your side seam. So from your armpit to the side seam where your rope goes around your waist. So you want to place your tape under your armpit and measure down to your waistline. Write that measurement down also. And we're also going to take our measurement from our neckline to our shoulder bone and also take our new our strap measurement from the neckline point to the side seam. This will be our strap measurement. Also take around your neck measurement. Once that's done, we're going to begin drafting our paper. So from the edge of my fabric, my paper, I'm just drawing a straight line and this line will become my center front line. Also at the top of my paper, I'm drawing a one inch line. This will become my shoulder line. So at my center front line, I'm going to place my full length measurement, which is my shoulder to my waist at the front. Mine measures about 17 inches. I'm going to place that down. And from that 17 inches, I'm going to place my center front measurement my center front measures 14 inches so i'm placing 14 inches at that 17 inches and measuring upwards and marking my 14 inches now i'm going to square those lines out so from my shoulder line i'm just measuring 17 inches and I'm going to take my ruler and square that line from my center front towards the side. I 
at my shoulder line I'm going to put one half of my shoulder measurement my shoulder measured at um, 15 and quarter so 15 and quarter divided by 2 measures um, 7 inches and 5 eighths so I'm going to subtract 1 inch from 7 inch and 5 eighths for the back so the back the back sh the front shoulder line will be seven and half and the back will be seven inches and three quarters so i'm placing seven and half measurement seven and half on my shoulder line measurement and i'm going to square that line three inches downwards So I'm squaring that seven and a half inches, three inches downwards on my paper, just like this. And now from my center front waistline, I'm going to put in my shoulder slope measurement. Remember the measurement we took from uh, the tip of our shoulder point to our center front line. Mine measures 17 and um, 17.5 inches so I'm going to add one inch one eighth of an inch which will make it 17 and 5 eighths of an inch I'm going to place 17 and 5 eighths of an inch on my waistline and tilt my measuring tape till it touches the three inches line at the top of my shoulder I'm going to make a mark there and from that line I'm going to put down my shoulder measurement which is five inches so i'm placing my five inches at that point and i'm going to move my measuring tape till it touches my shoulder line and i'm going to mark that point down now i'm going to square a line from my center front um, line measurement that i placed my 14 inch for center front square line inwards and from my five inch at the neck i'm going to square line downwards and then i'm going to take my skirt curve and draw in my neckline and also i'm going to connect those points from my neckline to my shoulder to draw in my shoulder point which measures exactly five inches now from my shoulder point i'm going to measure down 9.5 inches which is my apex measurement i'm going to put that down and square a line from the center front towards the side seam this will become our apex apex line which is also a bust line once that's done I'm going to take the measurement from my shoulder line to my apex line which is 9.5 and I'm going to divide 9.5 by 2 which will give me about three inches and three quarter thereabout I'm going to square that line from center front towards the side seam and this will become a chest line now at your waistline we're going to put down one half of our bust measurement so for example my bust is about 34 inches so I'm going to add one inch to 34 for ease so I'm going which will become 35 I'm going to divide 35 inches by 4 which will give me 8 inches and 3 quarters I'm going to subtract 3 quarter of an inch subtract quarter of an inch from that measurement for my back so 3 quarters of an inch minus a quarter of an inch will give me 8.5 for my back 
Now I'm going to add that quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch for my front. So my front will become nine inches. I'm just going to go over that again. My bust measurement 34 plus one inch for ease divided by four gives me eight inches and three quarter. Eight inches and three quarter minus a quarter of an inch will give me 8.5 for my back bust line. And then eight inches and three quarter plus a quarter of an inch will give me nine inches for my front bust line so I'm going to place that 9 inches on my bust line on my waistline and also place 9 inches on my bust line and I'm going to square that line upwards Once that's done, I'm going to place in my strap measurement. Now, the measurement we took from our neckline to the side seam, mine measured at about 17.5 inches. I'm going to place my tape at my neckline and then move my tape, making sure that my 17.5 inches touches that side line. So I'm going to place that measurement down and from that 17.5 inch measurement, I'm going to put in my side seam measurement, which is eight inches. I'm going to mark that down. Now at my apex, at my apex line or my bust line, I'm going to take my apex to apex measurement, divide that by two and place one half of that measurement at my bust line and on my waistline I'm going to put in my dart placement which is three inches if you want you can also you can put the same measurement you used for your top for your bust line which is one half of your apex to apex measurement for me I'm just doing three inches and at that three inches I'm going down by a quarter of an inch and I'm going to connect that quarter of an inch to my center front line. At my side seam where I marked my 17.5 um, inch, which is my shoulder strap measurement, I'm going to go out by 7 eighths of an inch. Now because this whole um, pattern is drafted with a cup size B, I'm going to go out by 7 8 of an inch. Now if you are a cup size C, go out by 1 inch and a quarter. For a cup size C, go out at that side seam by 1 inch and a quarter. For a cup size D, go out 1 inch and a half. And for a cup size double D, go out by 1 inch and 3 quarters. Now, because I'm working with a cup size B, I'm going to go out by 7 8 of an inch. And then I'm going to connect that 7 8 of an inch line to my 8 inch for side seam. Once that's done, we're going to um, mark our waistline measurement. My waist measures 25.5 inches. I'm going to divide that by 4 and I'm going to get 6 inches and 3 eighths of an inch. Now I'm going to remove 1 eighth of an inch and add 1 eighth of an inch from one from the front and add to the back sorry I'm going to remove one eighth of an inch from the back and add to the front so my back will become six inches and quarter of an inch and my front will become six and a half inches 
So we're repeating basically what we did for the bust line for the waistline. So since my front measures 3 inches for my dart placement, I'm going to take that 3 inches and place it on my side seam and complete my waist measurement which is 6 inches and half. So I'm going to angle my measuring tape making sure it touches my 3 inches and I'm going to put the rest of my measurement which is 6 inches and half. So which means from the side seam I'm measuring inwards by 3 and half inches. Once that's done I'm going to use a ruler to connect those lines from my side seam to my 3 inches making sure to mark my um, dart placement. So at the apex line where we mark one half of our apex measurement we're going to connect that line to the 3 inches we marked from the center front. And then we're going to take that measurement, measure that down. Mine measures about 7 inches and 3 quarters. And I'm going to report that measurement to the other point we marked on the waistline. Marking that down. Here I'm just erasing the lines I don't need so you see. I'm going to take my skirt curve and make a soft curve on that line from my 3 inches to the other dart leg point we marked and then continue with a straight line to the side seam. And then complete my dart leg from that point. This becomes a waist dart. Now at the apex point, we're going to go down by 3 eighths of an inch, 3 quarters of an inch, sorry. If you want, you can do 1 inch, but I'm going down by 3 quarters of an inch and I'm going to connect that to my dart leg on both sides. And this will become a new dart point at the top of the apex. Now to complete um, our armhole curve, at our chest line we're going to take our front chest measurement. Mine measured at about 13 inches there about. So I'm going to divide that measurement by 2. And I'm going to place that measurement on my chest line. And I'm going to take my ruler and square a line upwards and downwards. Then I'm going to square a line also from my side seam towards my center front. And I'm going to use my skirt curve to connect those points. So from my shoulder tip, I'm going to place my curved ruler, making sure it touches my chest line and goes down to my um, underarm. So I'm going to place that ruler down, making sure all my points are connected. Then I'm going to draw in my armhole curve. So once that's done, our front pattern is complete. Now, if you want to, um, if you want a side dart or a shoulder dart, what you need to do is divide your waist dart measure. Find the midpoint of your waist dart measurement. Mine measures at about one inch and three quarters. Mark that down and connect that line to your apex point. And then from your side seam, if you want to create a, a bust that you want to measure from your underarm downwards 2 inches and connect that line to your apex point. You're going to slash to your apex point at the bust line and also slash to your apex point at the waistline. And then close your dart a bit so it opens at your um side seam line. If you want to reduce your darts at the waistline to one inch, you're going to 
close it to one inch and whatever opens on the side is your side seam the same thing for the shoulder mark the midpoint of your shoulder draw a line to your apex point slash both lines and then whatever opens at your shoulder line is your shoulder that moving on to our back I just extended my center front line down my paper so that center front line becomes our center back line and the top line is our shoulder so from the shoulder line I'm measuring downwards the full length of my back mine measures at about 16 and quarter of an inch so I'm going to place that line down that is your shoulder to your waistline at the back and from that waistline, from that 16 and quarter inch, I'm going to measure my center back line, which is 15 and 3 quarters. So at that waistline, I'm placing my tape 15 and 3 quarters of an inch going upwards, and I'm going to mark that measurement down. That will become my center back point. So mine measures roughly about um, half an inch. And I'm going to square those lines outwards. So at my shoulder line, I'm just marking down my 16 and quarter of an inch. Using my um, ruler, I'm squaring that line towards the side from the center back line. And squaring a short line also at my center back neck. Now at my shoulder line, I'm taking one quarter of my shoulder measurement, which is seven inches and three quarters for the back. Remember, we added three quarters to the back from the front. So seven inches and three quarter, and I'm going to square downwards three inches like we did for the front. And now taking my shoulder slope measurement at the back, mine measured at about 17.5 also. So I'm going to report that measurement from my center back. Excuse me. I'm placing my 17.5 inches at my center back and making sure my measuring tape touches my 3 inch line I squared from the shoulder and place my mark there that will become my shoulder slope now remember the measurement we took around the neck so uh, dividing that measurement by five mine measured at about 14.5 15.5 so divide that 14.5 by two you have your back line measurement or you can take your front neckline measurement and report that measurement to the back plus one eighth of an inch so my front measured at 2.5 inches so I'm placing 2.5 inches at my back plus one eighth of an inch which is two inches and five eighths and then I'm going to measure from that two inches point two inch and five eight to where my shoulder slope is and it should measure exactly at about five inches which will be my which is my shoulder measurement now at that shoulder line I'm, i just drew a line for my shoulder line i'm going to measure put down my shoulder measurement plus half an inch so my shoulder measures at about five inches so i'm adding half an inch which will make it 5.5 inches now at the waistline we're going to put a bust measurement for the back so remember the front was about nine inches and the back is about 8.5 inches so i'm putting down 8.5 inches on my waistline at the back plus three quarters of an inch for that and i'm going to square that line upwards so here i'm just me measuring my 8.5 inches plus my three quarters of an inch and i'm going to square that line upwards towards the shoulder 
now i just went in to draw a line from my shoulder tip to my waistline which is my shoulder slope measurement and i'm going to use these as reference for my waist that on the waistline i'm putting down my waist um, one quarter of my waist measurement So I'm going to put down one quarter of my waist measurement which is six and quarter of an inch plus one inch and half for my dart. So from my center back I'm going to measure take my dart placement which is about three inches. Like I said for the dart placement you can use one half of your apex measurement. For me, I'm going in 3 inches and from that 3 inches, I'm going to measure towards the side 1.5 inches. That will be my dart, but that is for my dart. Now find the midpoint of that 1.5 inches. Mine is about 3 quarters of an inch. So I'm going to take the measurement from the center back to that three quarters of an inch. So it will be three inches and three quarter. I find where that point meets my shoulder slope line. And I'm going to connect a line from the waistline towards the top. And then I'm going to draw in my dart leg connecting to my 1.5 inches on both sides. Once that's done, our uh, dart at the back is created. Now just making sure I have my waistline correct, I'm measuring my 3 inches and I'm moving my 3 inches to my other dart leg to measure the rest of my waist measurement which is 16 and quarter. And I'm going to connect that 16 and quarter to the line at to my side line to where my 8 inches touches my sideline and here I'm just going ahead to mark my 8 inches making sure that my side seam matches with my front side seam and I'm going to square a line inwards. Now taking a center back measurement I'm going to divide that measurement by 4 and place one quarter of that measurement from the top of my center back towards the bottom and square that line towards my side. Now this will become a chest um, line at the back, a cross back um, line. Now on that point, we're going to put down our across back measurement plus a quarter of an inch ease. So my across back is about 16 and 3 quarters plus a quarter of an inch will make it um, 7 inches. So place 7 inches on that across back line and connect from the 5.5 inch on your shoulder line to the 7 inch across your back and also from that 7 inch to your 8 inches on your side seam like this doing this you've created your back armhole line so at my waistline at the side seam I'm coming down by a quarter of an inch and on both that leg I'm going down by one eighth of an inch each and I'm going to use my skirt curve to connect those lines. Connecting one that leg to, towards the um, center back and from the side seam to the second that leg also. Now to create a um, neckline curve I'm just going to use my curve ruler to connect from my shoulder point line to my center back line creating my neckline curve
Now, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and put in a shoulder depth. Now, at that shoulder line, I'm going to find the midpoint of my shoulder line. So, taking the 5.5 inches, I'm going to divide that 5.5 by 2, which will give me about 2 inches and 3 quarter. I'm going to connect that point to the that leg from the waist. And on that point, I'm going to measure downwards 3 inches. And on both sides of that line, I'm going to measure a quarter of an inch on both sides, which, is make, which will make it all together half an inch. Thereby taking the half an inch we added at the shoulder line. And I'm going to connect that one quarter of an inch to the three inches and extend the line upwards. Here I'm just erasing the lines I don't need. So after extending that line upwards, on that line I'm going to go up by one eighth of an inch on both sides of that that leg and connect it to the shoulder line to the neckline and also the shoulder line and our pattern is complete Now you can go ahead and cut out your pattern and add your seam allowances. So you're going to cut around your neckline, your shoulder, your armhole, side seam, waistline and center back. Add your seam allowances and so that's joining it to your front bodies and try it on. If there's any correction that needs to be done, you can do that while you're wearing the pattern on your body so just do a test fit first thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel